Hi folks, what we wanted to show you today was the Navionics iPhone app. It's a complete chart plotting system for your iPhone, perfect for anyone on the go. Now this includes boaters, anglers, and water sport enthusiasts just in general. But the great thing about the Navionics mapping systems is not only can you mark waypoints and hazards and obstructions and search for the nearest waters and marinas, you can basically download the map onto the iPhone's hard drive. Now what this does is it allows you to venture outside of the service area. So if you fish rural lakes or rivers or anything of that nature, you're still able to access that information. Not only that, you can share it across email and through social media like Facebook. So it's perfect for friends and family. It's a great, great deal for $9.99. I'm telling you, it's not a dumbed down version. This is the real Navionics mapping systems in your iPhone or iPad. And we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into the app. Of course, if you guys are looking for really, really in-depth instructional videos and, and things of that nature, make sure to look at Navionics on YouTube as they uh, do very, very well with the features of the Navionics iPhone app. Uh, but in this case, we're going to run through some of the more basic features that uh, you might be looking for uh, and will be very, very useful to those anglers looking to uh, get set up really quickly. So. Of course, we have six tabs along the bottom. They are GPS, Search, Track, Distance, Waypoint, and of course, Menu, where all your settings are located. So we're going to go ahead and go right into the menu and look at some of the settings. And of course, we have map overlays like Google, Bean, and Terrain. Um, of course, when you get the app set up onto your phone and installed, what you'll do is you'll actually go to Download Map and select the area. Um, in this case I've actually selected all of Washington State and you actually drag the box here set up your little outlines and once you get everything set up to where you'd want it and all your lakes and interests are included within this box you go ahead and hit download map down here in the bottom corner and what that does is that will actually download the selection onto your iPhone's hard drive or your iPad's hard drive so this is very, very crucial. If you're out of service range and you're fishing rural areas, you know, you can still access the map and you can still look at the bodies of water. So make sure and do that. Uh, back in the menu settings here, you can turn on and off wind forecasts. A big part of the Navionics mapping is community layer. And that's where you can go in and add objects. Like let's say you come across an underwater hazard on a lake. You can actually go in and add that to the map. So that way, whoever has Navionics community layer turned on, they can see that and they can avoid it. So very, very big and crucial part to this entire process. Um, of course, you can sync your data, you can set a safety depth. I currently have it at six feet, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the map. Of course, you can change your depth units from meters to feet to fathoms. We have distance units of kilometers to nautical miles to miles, and fuel units, liters and gallons. And this is really cool because you can actually set a cruising speed and it'll actually calculate your fuel consumption. So if you're going to be gone for the weekend or something like that and you need to know how much, um, you know, estimate how much fuel you're going to be using, this is a very, very cool feature for that. Something that I don't really have to worry about. Of course, you can share your results, your, your tracks, your waypoints, your pictures. You can share all of that through email or through social media like Facebook and Twitter. Of course, we have help and tutorials uh, included within the app. So the first thing really is what you want to do is you want to hit GPS down here in the left corner and that's going to go ahead and mark your current GPS location. As you zoom in of course you see here I'm in Spokane, Washington and what we can do is we can hit the search tab and what that will do is it will bring up categories. Of course we have everything from marinas to repair shops to boat dealers to restaurants looking up tidal information and current information but you know what we're going to go ahead and look for some lakes around us. So what it does is here is it brings up all of the ascending lakes within the area. Of course, they start off closer and as you go farther down, these are the lakes that are a little bit farther away. But I'm going to go ahead and choose, let's see, oh, I'll choose a lake that I fish a lot here, Badger Lake. And what that does is it brings up latitude and longitude information. And what you're going to see right away are the depth contours of the lake. Of course, we have the Google overlay on, and so you're looking at a map that's similar to Google Earth. Of course, as we zoom in, you see your depth changes and everything like that. Those may be off depending on the water levels, if they are high or low. So 
So don't necessarily take the depth information to heart, but just let that be a guide for you. Of course, like I said before, I did set a depth contour of six feet. So what that does is anywhere where it's six feet or less, it will actually shade a dark blue, as you can see right here. Now, that's very, very important for anyone, um, you know, whether or not you're going to be shallow fishing or, you know, in an area that you need to stay away from for depth concerns. So always make sure to look at that. It's a very, very cool feature. We can always track. So if we were to track our location and a route, it will actually um, draw up a line and will actually show you your position in the track that you've been to. So it's, it's fairly cool to uh, track your position and track your path if you're in a confusing area or a new area for that matter. So um, you can always choose new track, continue track, and edit your track information. With that being said, distance, we can actually measure a distance. So if we want to know how far it is um, from our current GPS location to, let's say, across the lake or something like that, we can actually move these little points and measure our distances. The big, big feature here is that you can set out a waypoint before you ever leave the house. So let's say you have some ideas in mind of where to go fishing. Let's say we're targeting some bass up in the shallows during a spawning condition. You know, we can hit waypoint, choose new route, and go ahead and basically tap out the waypoints that we would like to hit along the way when we're on the water. So of course, once you're done, um, you know, it, let's say you make a mistake, you can hit remove last and you can keep doing that to maybe go back a few. Um, but let's say you have your three points here and you're all finished. All you got to do is hit the waypoint again, save it, and that is ready to go. So when you hit the water, you can follow these locations and these points on from your GPS uh, without a hitch. You know, there's, there's lots of uh, information in here, and uh, I just want to stress the community layer. Sign up. You know, all you got to do is turn it on and... Um, you know, when you go back to your map and let's say you you find a favorite fishing spot on the iPhone or iPad, all you gotta do is tap and hold and let go and that's gonna bring up a screen. So let's say I wanna add this place to my favorites because I caught a nice large mouth bass here. So all we'd have to do is uh, delete the entry, name it whatever we would like. Obviously it records the date, the latitude and longitude and you hit done. And of course you can add it to that map and now you see that blue waypoint or that blue marker. And so that's now a favorite. Of course you can edit it just by holding it again, letting it focus, and letting go. And you can actually edit that marker. And so there's lots of different things that you can do with this. Um, with the community layer being on, I can actually add an object. And what this does is I can add information so that other Navionics users who have the community layer turned on can actually view this information. It's a very, very cool feature and it's something that uh, you know hopefully really takes off within the fishing community. We can add generic information, we can add a rock or wreck obstruction, we can add buoys, beacons and signs, lights, shops and repair shops, ports and marinas, or even anchorages and moorings. And so let's go ahead and add in um, We'll go back, and just for this purpose, I do know that this is a very, very nice boat launch, so we're going to go ahead, add this information, we're going to add an object, generic information, and we're going to just going to say that this is a boat ramp. And in this case, it is concrete. And it actually has two lanes. When we type done, we can actually add that to the map. So now anyone with a Navionics community layer turned on will actually see and be able to view that information. So it's very, very cool as you can see there. Lots of information and uh, we can hit GPS and go right back to our location. Well, thanks for sitting down with us today here at FHC Outdoors. We hope you enjoyed this brief overview and review of the Navionics iPhone app. You know, we've done a lot of things with it. We've compiled favorites, we've created tracks, we've set out waypoints before we've even left the house for a planned approach. 
and you know we've really personalized it to our liking. You can do the same. Navionics actually wants to team up with us here at FHC Outdoors and we're going to be giving away five iPhone apps and five iPad apps for our users. So make sure to stay tuned to FHCOutdoors.com and our social media channels, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, we'd like to thank Navionics for setting our viewers up for this opportunity. It's a tremendous tool in your hand, and you know what? You can use it through all stages. You can use it to prepare, you can use it while you're on the water, and you can also use it for research back home.